my learning friends from today today onwards in our monday series of free zoom session madam agreed to give the very special smile things all the things related with ladies it includes uh, the beauty concept as well as your physical problem how we can keep our body freshness throughout the life and how can we free from all the common smile ailments related with the female physical system now today she starts with some smile problems and solutions which is commonly affected ladies uh, we can very happily with a great smile we can invite our madam pubinder kaur to this platform we all know that she is the master gold qualified isa trainer with a warm greeting smile evening ma'am now you are welcome to this platform thank you so much smile evening smile evening to everyone so today we have a very special topic and uh, we will have uh, this is actually a series based on women disease and uh, beauty everyone uh, wants to look beautiful healthy so this Uh, this these series will focus this aspect this is very important but when we are talking about women diseases and women beauty here i want to mention that beauty yes we are not here we are not focusing the just surface beauty superficial beauty we have to shine from within yes so these series will focus in and out beauty so Mm, thinking this today i am focusing first i am focusing uh, female diseases because you see it has great impact on uh, our beauty also if your ovaries are healthy if your uterus is healthy then definitely it will have impact on your face on your body yes sometimes when we are talking about obesity for example yes and we are working on obesity we are doing exercises we are uh, you know maintaining our food habits also but still we are obese why because something is inside which we have not touched our reproductive systems our endocrine glands we have to pay attention once this is solved then Mm, all other outer problems are also solved so deep inside we have to uh, focus so now this these sessions these monday sessions for few mondays we will focus all these aspects because woman has different kind of diseases and then also we will focus beauty aspect health and fitness related to beauty when we talk about beauty not only ladies want beauty but male also want beauty so if they are attending this session this is also good for them uh, when we will touch the topic beauty so this topic will also help them now today we are discussing some female diseases i will show and i will teach one by one all diseases especially common diseases which we see mostly in our society and after experiencing many results now i am really greatly motivated to share and teach you and if you will treat systematically as per our guidelines definitely you will see the result and like for example if person has uterus fibroids and ovary sets like this so if you treat systematically especially i will say that uh, one month or one and a half month yes you treat regularly and then go for medical checkup and definitely doctor will see the changes don't stop medicines because doctor will decide 
on his own he will uh, then uh, if you are doing regularly he will see the changes and he will reduce medicines or he will stop the medicines so sujok will give sujok has a great hope for treating all female diseases only thing is that you have to treat very systematically and you have to follow all the rules and regulations of sujok when i say that sujok is really a great hope in treating female diseases so uh women diseases in this we will focus all ladies diseases first and before i teach these uh diseases because you know we want accuracy in treatment if we just study theory part okay this is the point that is the point and you don't know how to stimulate you don't know the exact accuracy how to find the point then even if you have good knowledge result is not coming so we have to be very sure about the point that this point is correct or not correct okay for this purpose a very small glimpse because i want you to experience the result so sujok su means hand and jok means foot this sujok therapy is a wonder in treating all kinds of diseases because sujok system correspondence cure system implanted in the hands and feet is a perfect independent cure system this is very logical systematic detailed and it is recognized by the whole world so simple you know it is so systematic that uh, if i say that this thumb is head you know you all can understand that this thumb is representing the head and once you realize once you understand that this thumb is head then automatically you know what is below the head you don't need to remember also when we focus surface part yes so because hand is similar to human body as soon as you come to know as soon as you realize that this thumb is head even child can tell what is if this is head then what is below the head below head is the chest below head is the neck then below neck is the chest and below chest is the abdomen and then extremities okay so it is so systematic now what happens here the story is to find the correct point sometimes we are stimulating neighbor point but we are not treating the main point because of this reason result is not coming we have studied yes many diseases in our past sessions and in all sessions yes i am focusing the point how to stimulate and how to find the point and mainly i am focusing practical part why because i want you to experience the result and please don't uh, take it for granted that this is the point here it is not random if this is the point you have to be very accurate with this point and then the ways of treatment yes and you will definitely see the result this is the signs of sujok that when any organ in the body has disease what happens it sends the message to the connected point when i say hand is similar to human body so there is a relation between hand and body like twins yes so this because of the similarity hand and foot has great exchange of energy any organ or any part of your body is suffering then all the points related to this diseased organ or diseased body part yes will become very painful will become very sensitive on pressing very painful on pressing now this is very important because you see in this series we are discussing diseases but then for accuracy you have to be very firm with the point that this is correct or not correct so on pressing even with the lightest pressure if that point is giving extreme pain sharp pain strange pain then then this gives us a surety that this point is the correct now what happens 
you know, these points, actually these painful points, from outside it looks, oh, this is very painful. But then this is a message, mess this is giving us message. These are messengers. Because without getting painful point, we will not come to know where is the disease, what happened to the body. Yes. So that is why God, the creator, has created this beautiful system on the hand. If we don't have pain on our hand, if we don't have painful point, we will never come to know. So through, through these painful points, body is speaking to us. This is language of body that please pay attention here. I am sick. Yes. So that you see when your baby cries, you come to know that your baby needs you. That is why you take action. Same way, same way, these painful points, your tiny points, your tiny cells are crying and telling you, I am sick. So when we treat this point by various methods, curative waves are produced. Because of this similarity principle, there is a very deep interconnection between body and the hand. When we press this point, curative waves are released. As a result, these waves, yes, sends cure message to the diseased organ and disease is cured. So why I'm telling this? Because I want to make sure that you get result. Because if we press wrong point, then curative waves are not released. Curative waves are released only, only when we press the correct point. And uh, how to recognize that point is correct? That tiny, small point. It is not muscular pain. That point, like a granule of a sugar, small, or like a dust particle, that point is very tiny. But when you press, Current pain is coming, sharp pain is coming. It is not muscular pain. And when you release, then pain vanishes quickly. When you stop stimulating, pain vanishes quickly. And when you press again, this pain comes again. So this is the surety that this is the master point. We have to reach this point. Many of us, even after knowing Sujo, very nicely, sometimes we fail, we know the theory, we know the area, we know the correct points, but our stimulation technique is not correct. That is why we fail to generate curative waves. It is very, very important to generate curative waves to heal. This Sujok science is very simple. Only thing is, if we succeed, in creating curative waves. And the best part is that Sujok is natural healing system and we don't have any side effect. For this reason, we teach openly because this does not have side effect. You all should try. You all should try. And then after you do a good treatment for a month, then you should go for a checkup. Though you are, it is very important these days that you go for a regular checkup. Uh, you have to know the improvement and progress of your body. And when doctor will notice your good reports, your good health condition, he will decrease the medicine or he will stop the medicine. The disease is cured only when correspondent uh, point is correctly located. And if the patient is not completely relieved of pain, it means that there are still other points which should be additionally stimulated. So now technique is that you will find the painful point. Yes. And after finding the painful point, you will apply seed, but before applying seed, again, make sure it is very necessary to warm up the point with the help of probe, ring or moksha. Ring massage, manual massage. If you have ring, it is very good. If you don't have ring, then use your fingers to warm up that point. 
Yes, so it is very good. And then in energy deficiency, if this person is weak, then it is very important that you do moksha treatment for sure on energy points and on the correspondent points of disease area. After massaging, after applying, uh, after massaging or doing moksha, then you should apply seeds or uh, magnet with the help of surgical tape. So as I told you that it is very important, globules of correspondence, these are those tiny small points. Uh, it, will, it would appear every time whenever slightest disorder takes uh, in your, in any part of your body. Yes, so these points need stimulation. So first thing I want to suggest is that every day, even if you don't have any disease, it is very, very important to massage your hand and foot very nicely. Each finger, each phalange, warm up. If you have ring, it is very good. Because now we are talking about uh, diseases, female diseases and beauty. So sujob so is the only therapy which we can use for preventive purpose also. In other therapies, we are using techniques when person is ill, but sujo we can use to prevent also, even if we don't have disease and if we do, you know, some points, it can help us, it can prevent us. We will uh, stay healthy and we will not have any disease if we do some tips, for example, ring massage, energy point once in a week, then you are fit and healthy. So painful points are always found exactly where there are, they are expected to be under the principle of similarity. And then we are treating uh, with the help of seeds, colors, or magnets. Now, because I want to explain all rules and regulations. Yes, not only for today's disease, but all sessions, for all uh, future sessions, because you will be learning lots of things. But I want to make sure that you should know because in this class, beginners are also there. They're listening for the first time. So they, they have to become aware, not just watching point and uh, just applying seed. No, it is very systematic way. So first, when you find the point and with the probe, uh, you have to press. Don't press very deep or heavy. Yes, don't damage this uh, patient's hand. Uh, if you press very deep and hard, then, you know, all points will be very painful. And then maybe you will uh, think, oh, this is painful point. This is disease point. On pressing heavily, heavy pressure, definitely, naturally, it will give pain. So we cannot, uh, we cannot decide that this is a real point or not. Also, don't press too weakly either because... You will not come to know, you will not be able to locate sensitivity in the correspondence point. If you press very light, it is also not good. So to identify the point, one should press, um, you can, because you know, you have to know the threshold of patient. First, when you hold patient hand, don't immediately press very deep because this is not good. Uh, you will see fear, emotion will pop up because he is not expecting heavy pressure from you. You have to gently hold patient hand, relax. Yes, make him relax because you, you, know, you have to give little warming up, touch therapy with love and smile, with motherly feeling. Yes, so you have to uh, press and then Slowly, slowly, you have to increase the pressure and you should know the threshold of patient also. Don't hurry. Let the patient react upon every pressure. This is very important. And the depth of location of the globule or painful point depends on the depth of location of an organ in the body. How deep organ is located inside the body? Yes. So uh, if organ is very deep, it needs deep pressure, okay? And if organ, if it is surface problem, if it is surface problem, then you don't need to 
press very deeply. You will learn this, like when I'm explaining the points of ovaries, uterus, yes, bladders. So if organ is little deep, you have to press little deep. And then the probe, yes, the probe or jimmy, you have to keep perpendicular. This is important when you are uh, when you are finding painful point, you should keep this probe perpendicular. Yes. And after you reach the correct point, then you have to give vigorous and, and uh, little deep pressure. Yes. So, but as I told you that you have to remember the threshold of person because a person with low pain tolerance, for them, strong pressure is not advisable. So you have to be very careful with your patient. All these rules and regulations you have to keep in your mind before you do sujuk therapy. Yes, this is not for today's session, but for all session. And one small, in five minutes, I want to tell the uh, main um, framework of sujo, especially when we are talking about basic system and insect system. So mainly we are using two systems, mini system also, but basic system and insect system is very uh, easy for everyone to understand. Also in this subject, we will use, when I am giving uh, treatment protocols, uh, maybe I will add higher dimensions also like triogen sometimes, diamond system sometimes, uh, six key, yes. So uh, you can follow that also, but at least you should know correspondence. Yes. So now when we talk about correspondence, uh, very simple, uh, few minutes I will take. As you know, that hand is similar to human body. Very simple because beginners are here. They should know that from square part, when you see this body, from square part, five projections are coming and same picture is available on the hand, middle two fingers. Yes, you see the square part. Yes, and from square part, you see four fingers and thumb, five projections are coming. Middle two fingers are representing the legs. Side two fingers are representing the arms and thumb is representing the head. When you see from proportion point of view, you can understand. Yes, two legs, two arms are like tube, long tube. And you will see fingers also like long tube. Thumb is broad, thick. Yes, and you will see here thumb is thumb and head looks the same, broad and thick. Arms have three joints. In your hand, arms have three joints. Legs have three joints. Same way you will see in sujok body, legs have three joints. And thumb has two phalanx and head has two phalanx. So I'm not giving detail. There is a lot of detail about these similarities. We have many similarities. Just want to give you a glimpse that hand is similar to human body because you, if you have this little outer framework in your mind, then you will enjoy treatment. If I say, okay, randomly, this is ovary point here. This is uterus point here. Then you will just focus the point concept. You should have this consciousness. You should know that why ovary point is here, why uterus point is here, why pituitary gland point is here. So outer framework, at least you should know. Okay. And then you can also add, you can also add uh, your triogen. I will guide you. Yes. So now you know that head, thumb is representing the head, head, neck, chest, abdomen, and when you keep your hand on this hand on the floor, then middle two fingers are representing the legs and side two fingers are representing the arm. Exactly copy paste. Yes, you have to see body on the hand. So thumb is a head. You can understand beautiful similarity. Head and neck. You see this is two areas. In fingers, you will see three areas because arms and legs have three parts. But you see thumb has two. Thumb does not have three. Why? Because, uh, because our head and neck two piece, thumb also showing two piece because of similarity principle. So this is general outer framework. You all should know. You all should know that hand is similar to human body. Okay. Square. From square, five projection coming out in main body, in hand also, from square, five projections are coming out. Then 
finger system. We are using finger system for treatment. This I want to give brief introduction. Three phalanx in each finger. In our body also, we have three departments, three floors. Very simple way I can tell you, like we have uh, when you make building. So this building has three floor. Now head, upper floor, chest, middle floor, and abdomen, lower floor. Each finger also has three floor, top, middle, bottom. Universe also has three floor. We can see universe from this angle also, sky, center part, and this is center part and the earth, 333. Three, three. Trinity concept is there everywhere. Arm has three, leg has three, central body has three. So Brahma, Vishnu, Mesha, sometimes I will talk in detail. So th these are, uh, this is Trinity concept. And this made us, this, this science is so beautiful. Professor Park Jevu, he found that uh, because we are part of universe. So this Trinity concept, Professor Park Jevu gave this name, tri-origin concept is flowing everywhere in the body. So finger is very dynamic. And in under tri-origin, this, uh, uh, this is on the neutral platform. Fingers are very powerful. Don't underestimate the power of finger. When you use, the more you use, you will see miracles, more miracles. Okay. So when we talk about three floors, top, in body also, head is top floor, chest, middle floor, so middle phalange, top phalange is head, middle phalange is chest, and lower floor abdomen is your uh, lower phalange of finger is representing your abdomen. It means very simple. If person has problem in the top floor, you're treating top phalange. If person has problem in the middle floor, you're treating middle phalange. If person has problem in the lower floor, you're treating lower phalange. So you, you should have this awareness. For example, yes, we will talk first disease when we are talking about woman diseases. So first disease we will discuss today is breast related diseases. You should know where breast in basic system and where is breast point in insect or finger system. It is not just point, it is similarity principle. As you know, in we have, uh, two main systems. In one system, we see full body view on this entire hand. And then in second pattern, we see full body view on finger. Okay, this is full body view on finger. So we have man many multidimensional overlapping on the hand. Not only this, we have many more systems. We have a uh, metaphysical energy system, a very beautiful network system is there on hand. Not only this, but at least basic system and finger system, you all should know to start this treatment. So if I talk, okay, where is ovary? You have to know, oh, this ovaries and uterus are located in the lower floor of your body, lower floor. We have three floors, top floor, middle floor, and lower floor. So where is ovary point? Where is uterus point? Point I will tell you, but you should have that sense. Why it is here? Because uterus, ovaries are in the lowest part of our body. Top floor is head region. Middle floor is chest region. And lowest floor is abdomen. Same way in finger top floor, middle floor, and lowest. So it means if you're looking points for ovaries and uterus, where are these points? Lowest floor, top, middle, lower. So it means you are searching here. So this simple clarity, simple glimpse is enough to start treatment. If you have, if anyone in your family, in your friends have, this problem, you can start your treatment from tomorrow very systematically. You can maintain a calendar and after one and a half month, you can go for a checkup. You can tell that person to go for a checkup. Definitely, you will see the result. So please be ready with your notebook, pen, and you can take screenshot also. Write systematically, notice all practical part, and then you will treat your patient.
So uh, in this series where we are discussing female diseases and beauty points, but today I will I am starting from female diseases because for beauty, when uh, of course we will reach that topic also, but this we have to rule out. Lady should not have any ovaries problem, no breast problem, no uterus problem. Yes, and this is again nourishing the roots of female. This is very important. Sometimes we ignore, don't ignore. We are only when problem reaches the peak stage, we go to doctor. Slightest pain in the breast, slightest, you should take action. When you ignore, it can become a little, you know, hard. It can become tumor also. So little sensitive breast, slightest pain, you have to take care. And this is so good, Sujo. You can immediately, when a little lump appears, cyst appears, some boil appears, in initial stage, if you do Sujo, immediately you can dissolve this disease. If, it, if you don't pay attention, and it becomes chronic, then you need little harder, you have to do hard efforts. And sometimes you give up. So first, if you are, you know, you have to scan your body now. So starting from top breast, today I'm going to focus breast. So if you feel there is some pain or there is some sensitivity, some lump, then you have to treat immediately with the help of sujo. So where are the points of breast? Okay, we will search in our hand and insect system. I will show on my hand because this is computerized picture. Uh, in hand, I will show very systematically because randomly if you do, if there is a lump in some corner of your breast, you cannot do randomly. You should know exactly where and then you have to do further treatment like a seed and painful point like this. So at least now general idea, where is the breast point? As I told you, head. Below head is neck. Below neck is the chest. So we will see the painful point. And now I want to show on my hand. For this, I will share my screen. So please pay attention. Many good results you will see. So I'm sharing my screen to show the accurate breast point. Okay, so. Our mission is good result. Okay. So everyone will learn how to draw. It is not for just lump, sometimes, sometimes general pain also. And uh, during periods time, female, uh, they feel sensitive breast, some pain. Uh, if you know Sujo, immediately you can solve your problem. So first thing is, you know, this is face, neck, this is chest, okay? Now, First step is to find the central line. So this is the center point of the base. So when you're finding the center point, here you have to pay attention, see? This is yin yang line of thumb, which is dividing. I hope my hand is clear. So, which is dividing this thumb in two parts. This is yin surface 
and back is yang surface and this is the border line so we need this framework so that we can locate correct breast point okay now after this you have to find the center this is important actually this center point when you're finding the center point then here also you see the yin yang line and now when you are calculating the center point it should be exact center between two lines you see we have two lines this side and this side so you have to find the center point between these two lines for this purpose we should make yin yang line okay you can use this gel pen when you are treating patient as a beginner you can draw on patient hand and then you can do treatment because as a beginner it is good that you draw so now this center point once you find this center point here is also the wrist center again we need to find the center in the wrist area just a minute wrist area center point yes yeah, center point and then see you will merge these two points no curve yes and then this is your chest diaphragm line just a moment see this line okay so this is your chest now to find the breast point can you see this web between index finger and middle finger see index finger and middle finger from here you will extend the line Okay, because you know that your left arm is coming out from your left chest. See, this is my left chest and from left chest, left arm is coming out. So have that glimpse, left arm coming out from the chest. So this line, when you get this line, first, the center point below this line, this is the nipple area. Now you have to find the center of this line. You see, center. This is the nipple area. Yes. And here the distance is the same. Center. This becomes one point below the line so this is nipple area and then breast this is breast yes so you have to know this point correctly and this becomes your left breast. This is my left hand. And this is left arm. This becomes your, this becomes left breast and this becomes, this is right breast. Now, if person, like if, 
person feels that um, left breast problem should search point here yes also uh, you see uh, very good to stimulate this area also yes because it is attaching the arm this part yes so first you stimulate this area nicely same uh, diagram is available on the right hand same pattern so in case a lady has left breast lump now you have to know left side or right side so again how to understand because this is left breast and now you divide this into four parts for example four parts so left breast upper area or left breast lower area this is outer side upper but outer side this is left breast upper but inner side you can feel yes so same pattern if i draw So where is the lump? Where is the lump? Okay. So this side is left and this side is right. So when you check, when you press, you have to scan. Actually, you see, uh, you have to, while taking bath, you should scan your breast more often. And as soon as you find tender point, take action immediately before it becomes some... Uh, becomes chronic problem okay some severe problem better you take immediate action so now this pattern you are looking here see same pattern in left hand this is the left hand now if now you find some lump here how you will find this point then how you will find this point so first is confirm because head neck chest and then in chest, this is left side, near the left arm, left side. Now this breast, this is this point, see, this is left breast, lower, outer side. We say this is outer side. And this side is inner, this is outer. Okay, so you're pressing this area nicely. And if you do treatment every day, you will see that lump will dissolve. Okay, this point. And if, if you find lump here, this is right breast. Yes, this is right breast. Then where is right breast here? So this becomes your right breast. Better you treat for right breast, you treat right hand it is important now with left hand i cannot draw neatly on this hand but same picture is available only thing is you have to understand that in right hand this is my right arm yes this is my right arm so when you draw this pattern on this hand then this side we have two points this is right breast here and left breast here so for right breast you treat right hand for left breast, you treat left hand. So right breast, this is the area. And from right chest, right arm is coming out. Same picture. You will make two circle here, two circle here. And then according to this, where is the upper or lower? Okay, so we are talking about left because drawing is available. So I will give more example about, about this left hand. So if person has problem here, this one yes so this is left breast upper but inward inside okay so again this is left breast so you go upper we have two uh you can see quarter one fourth so you have here because divided into four so upper two 
sectors are upper zones of left breast and in upper zone of left breast we have left we have outer and inside this patient this is inside so you will focus here if you find any lump here any pain here then you are stimulating this area yes you are stimulating this area and then finally now i will show after stimulation because in this area you have to now once you reach the zone then you have to now press and check in this area which point is more sensitive and painful yes when we are finding the painful point we are holding our probe pop in a perpendicular way yes for example after checking in this quarter four five points can come one small point uh, i explained to you that curative waves are released only only when you are successful in finding the most painful point so for example patient says ouch ouch this is very painful so it means this small one point here you have to treat in one day you will see the change if your problem you have uh, experience <clears throat> okay. okay so you have written one question how to know whether there is this is heart problem or this i want to tell one thing because this hand in our body we have chest and we have uh, in chest we have respiratory system we have lung and heart also breast is there so overlapping is there in our body also so you don't bother that this is heart or breast though breast is outer and heart is little deep as i mentioned that is why i mentioned in one of my previous slide that if organs are deep located you have to press deeply that needs deep pressure heart is does not need deep pressure but anyway overlapping concept is there in this journey even if you have heart here yes according to basic system heart point is located here in case you find painful point you don't need to know that this is heart or lung because your now present moment problem you have felt this is a proof that a patient whoever is the patient this is the proof that this patient has lump here because she has checked and she has found the pain here lump here so our focus should be on the breast not on the heart but in this journey if because you your pressing your when your curative waves are released in case this curative waves reaches heart also it will not give side effects no problem at all if two organs are here yes in case heart needs some help this curative wave, wave will help heart but if heart does not need help no problem it will heart will smile and all treatment will go to breast also lung is here nearby if in this journey if lung needs help so these curative waves will also help can help lung okay don't worry so focus focus where is the problem in this chest heart is there lung is there breast is there no problem okay but our focus should be very clear and in this treatment if heart and lung gets benefit in case they have lack of energy stagnation is there no problem these curative waves can help that area also additionally i hope it is clear because i saw question in the chat box so now after finding the painful point you can apply seeds this is black pepper for example this is paper tape you can apply yes this was left breast and upper inner zone just this one seed enough now you see if we don't apply this seed in correct place lump will not go 
randomly if we apply seed no result will come no result yes so whether it is lipoma lump it is not important you have to know that where is the disease okay where in which zone you see the disease that is important any disease in this area according to your medical report but if you know then you can exactly focus in case you don't know left and right exactly yes in that situation also this upper zone or lower zone but you know that oh left breast is suffering but little bit uh, you are um, not uh, aware or you don't know how to divide in that case also because this area is very small you can uh, search in all zones one by one you can check one by one you can check stimulate and the point which is more painful there you can give extra attention you can press that point several times press release press release press release several times or you can roll the jimmy like this yes and sometimes you can apply seeds like this also you see Make a flower, just like round breast. See flower. It looks like round shape and you can paste here. Left breast. Start doing if you don't know left and right though it is important to know because curative waves are released only when you press correct point but anyhow if there is if a complete breast has some pain then you can do like this right breast also you can treat here in this area like this now where is this breast point in insect system insect system is very easy for everyone see Now, chest, breast, this is face, chest, abdomen. You should keep seeds for six to eight hours. Yes, but if sometimes skin is sensitive, because of this paper tape, sometimes they get itching, then you can remove before. If skin can tolerate, you can keep for more hours also. And then uh, be before doing next sitting, it is important that you, you have to give rest to your skin because next day also you will treat. You should have some gap. Black pepper, star magnet, these two seeds are very uh, black pepper is good also you can black pepper because this is fleshy area black pepper is good and in case uh, you don't have then you can use green lentil but uh, black pepper is good because black pepper has medicinal property also it has some med medicinal property also so in insect system breast In all fingers, same point. Yes, then you can check. I always recommend to work on insect system and main system because both has, main system also has its own qualities. So here you can check which point is painful because, okay, keep hand in the center. <laughs> okay, just a moment. I hope clear now. Is it okay? Okay. So you can check all fingers actually. Take it very seriously. Whenever there is breast lump developing, you should take action. Okay. And you know, when you're finding painful point, uh, you have to uh, keep your probe perpendicular if you're rolling and 
massaging in this in this pattern you cannot find painful point perpendicular one by one check now you see i am getting pain but this is normal pain you can use cluster magnet also yes but cluster magnet or this flower you use only when you don't get painful point but there is some sensitivity breast is sensitive something but if there is a lump and you succeed in getting a painful point then it is recommended that you do a focused treatment yes then it is very important that you do focused treatment okay so in sex system you have to check all one by one so i am doing on this finger and then later you can uh, you know that you have to check on all fingers yes all finger and whichever finger is having most painful point that finger you will use for treatment okay so this is how you have to locate breast a point any disease i am not taking name any disease just start teach, treating uh, with this technique. Where is the disease? Which zone is suffering? Which quarter is suffering? And you can start treating the patient. Okay. Sometimes. Now, sometimes if the pain, patient has pain and it is coming to towards the arm also. For example, this is arm. And pain has reached here has reached here so you can also stimulate nearby area this area also you can stimulate yes you also exactly same because hand is similar to human body so you also you know go outside this circle outside this circle and you start stimulating this area outside this circle yes this circle and you, you you see this line start stimulating this area this complete area also try to find the painful point here if that pain has started traveling towards the arm this area then you start stimulating these these points and wherever you find the painful point you can apply seeds even if you don't have any disease i recommend that every month you should scan uh, your breast while taking a shower and check if any pain yes any pain take immediate action such a simple thing and you will see apply these seeds if you don't reach the perfect point do something yes if you do it correctly it is good but if better it is good that you do something then nothing so this lump is dissolved and you can check you can see the result many times i have experienced and i have told my patient when they share their their experience uh, they share that uh, yes doctor i experienced this uh, i had lump but now after doing treatment now i i this is miracle for me this lump is dissolved Okay, so this is how you can do. Also, I like to do green color. Green color in the correspondence area. Uh, like when you're doing seed therapy or magnet therapy, in that time, don't do color therapy. Color therapy, it is recommended that you do in daytime. In daytime and uh, you can keep colors for two to three hours in daytime. And after that daytime, then you can do seed therapy. These two combinations will give very fast result because uh, green color is neutral color and also it is it can harmonize humidity energy. It last, in last session also, I told you that lump or stagnation is humidity. And in all kind of uh, um, uh, lipomas and uh, cyst, or we are using green color. Okay, now uh, I want to tell next thing, try origin. How you can go to breast, uh, this tip I want to give in try origin and for this I will share my 
new screen. Just a moment, please. New screen. And this you have to focus. Very good treatment. So sharing, wait. First, I will like to explain on my iPad. Just a moment, please. Okay. Dark green color. Now, try origin, little this is advanced. But if you can catch, it is good to treat any breast disease. So first is here, this joint on the thumb. This is the joint. Yes, you will feel the bone, bony part here. Okay, so here you have to put first color red on the, this is on the yin yang line. This is step one. And I will show on hand also. People, those who are doing needling, they can do needle. This is tri origin. You will do first step, uh, this point color uh, here on this point will open the door towards the breast because in our inner world we have very beautiful metaphysical pathways and when we uh, have a very systematic way through this chain we will put few dots one by one and in this sequence is very important you have to maintain the chain you have to maintain the sequence you cannot put colors randomly so this is first dot also, you can apply seed here. If you are not doing color here, you can apply. I will show you can apply seed also. Now, after this, then you have to focus uh, middle finger. Middle finger. In middle finger, this nail is representing reproductive system. And breast, according to our science, breast is neuto point. Neuto point. So second color is you have to open this point. So when we are putting color on the point means we are opening that point. So second step is you put black color here. Okay, or one seed here. So both options are there. You put color or you put a seed, fenugreek methika seed. This is second step. Third step, you have to come, you have to now focus neuto finger or little finger. In this finger, yes, in this finger, this joint, we have three joint, one upper joint, lower joint, middle joint. In this finger, if person has left breast problem, you will work on this joint. After putting seed here or black color here, this joint, even you do correspondent treatment, find painful point, twist, massage, immediately you will see the effect on the left breast. So this is left breast. This is left breast. And lower joint, if person has right breast problem, right breast, and sometimes both breast suffering, both breast. Okay. And some very, uh, uh, no. See, uh, people, those who know uh, triurgen, they will know that we have two types of classification in one classification breast uh, your breast is neutral and when a um, lady is in lactating condition her breast becomes active 
This is neutro state. When milk is not there, then breast is neuto. Okay. So in triogen, we have two types of classification, but for common public, I'm focusing now breast is neuto. Okay. So now on the nail, this nail we take when a person has some severe problem, very, uh, you can say, last stage, then we are taking nail. Yes. So now, after opening, now with this chain, this was step one, step two, and then in step three, this finger is now, uh, will, you know, in this, on this finger, uh, all, because this finger will become active, or this finger be or or this finger will become receptive to receive treatment on breast. Yes. So now lipoma, if person has lipoma cyst, cancer, this is homo disease according to our science. This is homo disease. So homo sedation and heterotonification like this. So you can do for bigness. You can put a round color also. Yes, this is this information is available only on right hand. Okay, this has this is very subtle, soft, delicate, and very high level of treatment, and we cannot do randomly. So, so this system, this chain is available only on the right hand. Of course, left hand also is there, but we have a different technique. But with this technique, better with body, gait, we have to travel on via right hand. So now uh, if person has homo disease, cancer, cyst like this, some stagnation is there in left breast, okay? Then what you can do, you can color this joint with red color. Green color is always, you know, because if you know triogen, then we have a very systematic way, uh, like we do uh, homocidation, heterotonification, neutrotonification. We have anti-creation, we have functional and anti-functional. But for, I'm telling from beginner's point of view, you can do uh, red, you can make a red ring also, I like to do correspondent treatment on this joint very much. This correspondence joint means on this joint, one by one. For example, you see, if I show my hand, if you can see, one by one, you should focus, focus, finding the painful point. One by one, you can check. And wherever you find a painful point, you just put perpendicular one needle or one seed. If you find four painful points, you can apply seeds on four. And in case you uh, don't find painful point, then I like to put four seeds on four direction. That is left, right, front and back. Yes, one, two, three, four, four direction. Okay, like this. So this is how, because most of the time homo disease, most of the time homo disease is there. So same story you can see on the right breast. If person has, see, if you don't know what kind of disease, what is the energy of the disease, then you can do correspondent treatment. Okay, and then in if both breast, you have to work here. Anyway, after working, after finishing your work, whether you are doing correspondent treatment, seed therapy or color therapy, then you have to come to the last step. This was your third step. In third step, you have focused the joint according to the patient disease. And then fourth step, in fourth step, again, you have to come to this joint. And on the yin side of the thumb, Turn the hand, yes, inside of the thumb. You have to put last dot here, green. This is your fourth step. So again, step one on the yin yang line and on the level of your joint, here is your joint. 
on the level of your joint. First dot, this is a red color. Second, then middle finger. In middle finger, on the root of the nail, you will put black dot. Second step, third step, on the little finger, according to the breast area, left breast, right breast. Even if you know advanced triogen division, we can exactly divide that area also, lower, upper. But in this pattern, it is it, it needs advanced chain. Okay. So left breast, right breast, wherever is the problem. On that joint, you can find painful point. You can do seed therapy. You can do color therapy. Uh, blue, uh, red color for all homo diseases. Okay. And if disease is not clear, then you apply green color, neutral color. Also, you can do seed therapy. So this is third step, focusing the joint according to the patient disease. And fourth step, you have to apply one seed or green color on this area. Okay, this last point. So this is how there was a question. Uh, let me see. I saw one question here. Uh, can be done as preventive. So there is a question. Now, uh, this, of course, this triogen treatment, you will do only when there is a disease. But correspondence treatment, yes, you can do. Actually, it is very good that um, when I will focus, you know, beauty related points in that, uh, in that uh, story, when we are focusing beauty, I always recommend that ladies, ovaries, uterus, breast point and energy points. We will study. There are many other things also. So we have as a preventive also we can use. But triogen treatment you will not use. You will uh, not do only if disease is there, then you will do triogen treatment. Okay. And uh, what color for right and both breast? There is a question. Color for. So green color. If the green or red color in case of homo disease. And also I want to say again, now lactation problem, like, you know, lactation problem. For, okay, here is the correct, you know, hand picture of breast. Now, uh, because I, I want to tell, this is again very, uh, you know, experimented again this story that uh, this point also in lactating mothers when uh, sh milk is not coming. So one real case happened that lady, she had undergone cesarean and after cesarean, uh, she, uh, she couldn't feed her baby because no milk no milk at all. So then we suggested to do clockwise massage. We have a pattern that when we do clockwise massage, it opens the energy, opens the energy. Yes, if we do clockwise massage and if we do anti-clockwise massage, it decreases the energy. So remember this point in lactation where you will see result in first day. This is so powerful. First day you will see. So if person has, if that lady cannot feed her baby, no milk, then seed therapy also. After doing massage, we will do seed therapy. Which seed? What do you think? Which seed can help? Which seed? From nature, you pick up that seed which is uh, which has the quality of milk. Which seed? Who can tell me? Which seed? You are writing methi and fenugreek, green mook. Think, think, think. Which seed can give milk? 
think from this point of view. Milk, milk, soya bean. Soya bean, yes, yes, can give milk. Very good, very good. So now, you know, uh, if you see your friend or neighbors, your children, grown-up children, you know, this situation when you see, then first, with the help of probe, you do clockwise massage, start from the center, yes, and do clockwise massage clockwise massage like this and end here okay then start again from the center clockwise massage and finish you can finish anywhere but only thing is outer here also clock start from the center and clockwise massage nicely at least you should do two to three minutes clockwise sometimes you will see very first moment with even before applying seeds we saw many cases like this yes so before you apply seeds mother can report oh so i can see drop of milk yes and you never know that mm, in one sitting she can see the result okay but maximum four sitting minimum one sitting you will see the result in that lady okay then uh, if milk quality is not good, milk is coming, but not good quantity and quality like this, then uh, very good, then very good to apply soya bean seeds on the breast point. Okay, so this is how you have to focus. And now I want to tell in six key also. Uh, also, whenever you are treating uh these points better also you add pituitary gland point for sure pituitary gland point is a, again very important thumb for example this is thumb and center point divide this into three parts one two three and this is the pituitary gland, master gland, which has very strong connection with all these endocrine gland systems and all female reproductive system. So uh, massage this and uh, apply one black pepper or green lentil seed on this point. This is very good point. Yes. And then I want to tell in six key also, as per, as per your... Uh, uh, correspondence correspondence uh, you can do even triogen you see exactly what I have told you you can do and six key better you work on brain meridian let me share meridian picture Okay, so for uh, this breast problem, uh, you can work on brain meridian and CV meridian. As you know, the name of CV meridian, full name of CV meridian is conception vessel meridian. Okay, uh, someone is writing that you cannot see the screen. I hope you can see the screen. Yes, ma'am, it can see. In. No okay. problem. Okay, okay. Maybe because of the network issue, she may not see the screen. Okay. So now, as per six key, you can work if there is lump in the breast, then work on brain meridian and CV meridian. Okay, this is very good combination. Brain meridian can directly you can work on brain meridian. Uh, like in future, I, when I'm explaining uterus diseases, for uterus diseases, we are working, we are focusing spinal cord meridian, but for breast, we are focusing brain meridian. Now, what you have to do if person has, <clears throat> uh, if person has, uh, if that lady has cyst and lump, 
along with the correspondent treatment. I always like to do one correspondent treatment and one energy treatment. Either you choose triodigen or you choose six key, but do it with full confidence. Then what treatment for lumps in brain meridian, you sedate humidity. These are the points. You see this, this chart you should always have whenever you are attending my class. So because uh, you can take printout, you can make your notebook of Sujok, Sujok notebook, and you keep these pictures ready so that immediately when I'm teaching, you can mark the point, okay? And you can save your time in drawing. So this is brain meridian. This is about breast lump. After doing uh, correspondent treatment, correspondence treatment, as I told you, you work on brain meridian. So on brain meridian, first step, this is humidity sedation with green color, wind tonification with uh, green color. This is second step. And on CV meridian, immediately you will see correspondence and one energy treatment, you will see the result. Yes. And then third step, humidity sedation on CV meridian. This line, this line is CV meridian and the full name of CV meridian is conception vessel meridian, which is connected to uh, your uh, female or male reproductive uh, area, conceptional vessel. So this is um, third step and fourth step, wind humidity sedation and wind tonification. This is fourth step. So if you can apply, if uh, both breast, then do this treatment on both hand because our both hand will have brain meridian. Same points are same in same place. And if left breast problem, then you have to work on left hand. If right breast problem, then you have to work on uh, right breast. Yes, this is how you have to work on breast. And then in chronic cases, it is highly recommended that you do moksha before you apply before you apply seeds. It is very important that you do moksha on breast point before you apply seeds. Yes. So in our series, I will touch this topic in details and we will also have infertility discussion on infertility and uterus fibroids and all these prolapsed of uterus. And because that is why I said that this is a series. And once our reproductive system is strong, then we can go forward with our beauty mission. Yes, and that this will go long, longer and very important. So maybe next time I will touch ovaries and uterus diseases, ovaries and uterus diseases, and then we can focus more diseases. So if you have any uh, PCOD, yes, of course, ovary cyst, PCOD, yes, I will touch all because I will, that is why you see in one session, I touched one in this today's session, I touched one. Why? Because if I have to take result, if I, if I really, uh, if we want to experience the result, we have to understand very systematically. That is why I'm devoting time to one disease perfectly so that you get the result. Okay. Enlarged breast. Yes. And, and in all diseases, as I always say, always say that lifestyle, exercise, food habits you have to maintain. And uh, enlarged breast, do anti clockwise massage on the breast point along with your exercises and your. And, and actually, if you're obese, obesity, then we have to add another point when we are discussing. Uh, because this will have this is health and fitness beauty and beauty and you will have this also because sometimes because of obesity breast sizes increased we have to focus obesity points which i will tell you yes to stop lactation uh, <laughs> why you want to stop it is natural because when baby will stop drinking uh, naturally you will see that 
after a few days but yes we can do anti-clockwise massage better we don't touch we don't interfere with nature sometimes some situations some this is not disease actually to stop lactation like this this is not a disease we are talking about disease yes so fibroids yes we will discuss all we will discuss all one by one maybe next session we will have uh, ovaries and uterus problem we will discuss all this is series that is why i said this is series so i'm looking your chat box okay yes reading your questions thank you so much you all are wonderful that is why you say this is wonderful because this is your wonder speaking okay thank you so much but smile I... thank you ma'am smile thank you actually it is very useful uh, not only for ladies actually uh, those who are respect our loud ladies also they can uh, yes choose. yeah surely because they are doctors our yeah. male brothers and our yes. they are doctors and also they can help their daughters their wives they are in their family yes yeah. they are sisters yeah. brothers family members and if they are doctors they have to treat ladies and also so everyone this is benefit for all actually uh, yes uh, it's an and it is very useful also our uh, dear friends actually uh, our madam will deliver this knowledge as a series so you have to come and attend all the live sessions without any uh, hesitation without fail you have to attend all the sessions surely you will get a smile results smile mm -hmm. thank you ma'am smile Thank you. Actually, she's coming from that uh, ISA training session. We have to honor her. We have to love her. We are loving so much, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. See you Smile next Friday. Friday. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Smile. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Smile. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. When I hear your voice, I get a lot of smiles. Smiles. Thank you, ma'am. Good night, ma'am. Good night, ma'am. Thank you. See you next Monday. Thank you, ma'am. Stay in touch with the group. Thank you. Best of luck. Smile.